Hello. Systemization is about turning your business into a system for producing cash. It means turning your business into a business that works without you, one that works without you doing all the work or controlling everything that happens and making all the decisions. For most business owners, that means changing the way they run the business and changing the way they think about the business. This systemization plan is a simple way to identify what you want to change, plan the necessary changes, and to keep track of your progress as you systemize your business. It works around self-assessment and target settings. You can see on the screen there are two main areas. The area here is about how you spend your time and how you think you should be spending your time in a systemized business. The lower area is seven key systemize, systemization areas for your business, each of which are defined as different stages from zero through to three. And again, you self-assess where you are, select where you want to be, and choose some appropriate actions. So let's just quickly <clears throat> look at the time area. We're doing this, supposedly doing this uh, review on the uh, 23rd of June, 2015. Um, the idea is that you review, assess yourself, select some actions, and then sometime later, a month or three months later, come back and review progress, progress and um, select some, some future actions. So let's, um, let's put a typical set of percentage of time being spent here by a business owner of an unsystemized business. So you can see this business owner spends <clears throat> most of his or her time on business development, sales and marketing, and operations, doing, delivering. There's a chunk of time spent in finance and admin. Um, there's a little bit of time developing staff and no time at all setting business direction or systemization, i.e. working on the things we're talking about here. How might this owner want to spend their time? Well, it's up to you, but a systemized business with uh, an owner who's thinking strategically and long-term about developing value might well have this kind of pattern, so 30 setting direction, 30, working on the business, systemizing it, structuring it, um, measuring it, 30, selecting, coaching and developing staff to um, deliver what needs to be done, and probably, let's say, 10 on, on business development. So you can see <clears throat> this person doing their systemization assessment, quite different patterns of how they spend their time now, and how they want to spend their time. And transforming these numbers is done by taking steps in these sections down below. So each of these seven sections down here addresses one of the key systemization areas. The first one is about strategy. And you can see it gives you four pen portraits of the current status. <clears throat> going from we never discuss or work on our business strategy and exists only in my head through to if you like the model systemized business we have a strategy that's written down understood by everyone delivering against KPIs a well-established strategic review process so most businesses will be or all businesses will be somewhere along this um, spectrum from stage zero to stage three now for each of these areas self-assessment is exactly the same you select the current state so I might say in this business well I think I'm actually at stage zero which is we never discuss or work on our business strategy and it exists only in my head not at all uncommon for small businesses and I might say well do I want to get to stage three that seems overkill for me in my business I'm really looking at stage two which is a documented strategy that most people understand and we're measuring 
progress against it. So I'm going to say my target is to get to stage two. So you can see the green is where I am. Red is what I want to achieve in this business. So how am I going to make these changes? Well, I'm going to select suitable actions. You can see the list of actions that relate to this section of the business. Stages zero to one is one um, action, and then there's further actions down as the business owner progresses through a sequence of actions to get them to the point where they're running a model systemized business. So we're going to choose run a strategy workshop as a good start point on starting to think about an explicit strategy. You can see this has gone red because, of course, if we're going to set a, an action, an objective, we want a target date. So I'm going to say I can do that in a month, um, 30th of July. Today. OK, so you can see here I have a an action with a target date that's going to move me from here to here, or at least start me moving from here to here. Let's go to the next one. So this one asks about planning, really, to take a planned approach to running the business. And everything from stage zero, there is no plan. We're completely reactive, um, and everything's a bit of a surprise to us, <coughs> through to um, the model systemized business, which is running a live business plan as a dashboard for the business, Got financial and non-financial targets, reviewed effectively each month and uh, actions carried out accordingly. So a real spectrum from one to the other. And um, so I might think in this business that, um, well, actually, I'm, you know, I'm not doing too bad. I'm at stage one here. We do have a business plan and we do occasionally refer to it. Um, sometimes we look at our finance, financial performance figures. Um, so we're not, we're not completely without any kind of planning, but we're not, we're not too grand. So I might think, well, I want to get to actually on this is so important. I really need to get to stage three here. I really need to get to this live business plan, which we're using to control the business. So this is where I am. This is where I want to get to. What am I going to do? So I'm looking for an action that's going to take me from one to two. Um, and the first one there is to start scheduling a monthly management review. So a plan is only every, any use if you use it to control things. So that's why we need this monthly management review. And uh, I'm going to look at that for August. So 1st, 8th, 15th, and so on and so forth. So just briefly, I won't score all of them, but we've got, um, this is about senior management team, because getting your business to be autonomous, saleable, something that works without you, <clears throat> uh, requires one key step, which is to develop your team of managers who are running the business for you. Then we have performance management for all staff. Once again, a key step in getting people within the business to um, uh, perform at their optimum. And this is a complex area, lots of issues and lots of things need to be done right. There are some mechanical things that need to be put in place, not least of which is to explain to people what performance actually looks like. Then we've got, um, this is about um, delegation and reliance on you. Um, how long can the business work without you getting involved? Well, all the way from stage zero, where you do everything, make all the decisions, and it would stop without you, through to this ideal situation in the end. I never get involved, so perhaps that's what you're aiming at. Core processes, how well are they documented? So no documentation through to fully documented, where you, any anyone who knows what broadly what they're doing could could pick it up and run with it, and a couple of stages in between. And then finally, <clears throat> key performance indicators. How well are you tracking your core process with your business development, operations, and finance with key performance indicators? So nothing through to everything and really using them to drive the business and a couple of steps in between. So having made those changes, made that self-assessment, decided some uh, actions with target dates, um, you can save this system uh, this uh, plan is a, a dated version of it because never forget what you want to be able to do is do <clears throat> do
take this, copy it, give it a new date, a new file name, and compare and contrast how you've progressed. So uh, first of all, we'll just quickly look at how the thing looks if you want to print it out. So you can see here we have the um, how you spend your time and your self-assessment of where you are and all the things that need to be done. So you can print this out over a couple of pages and you have a systemization plan which you can which you can use. Okay. Now we're just going to open another file. So just to, for comparison, you can see um, the kind of thing that you might uh, get to. So here's one that you know we allegedly have created three months after the one we've just done. Let's open that up and you can see it looks quite different. So the percentage of times have changed. They're not where they need to be yet, but there's been a definite change in where you are spending your time. These bars have moved on um, your, through your current assessment of where you are and the actions have moved on. A couple of things to note here. This action in red means it's late. This is what we said we we're going to do by the 1st of August and um, unfortunately it hasn't happened. So we need to pick up on that one somehow. And if you go back to the previous version, if you select an action, and don't give it a date, it, it blocks so red here, just to say, come on, if it's a meaningful action, uh, you need to have a date against it. So that's it. It's a fairly simple system that will help you systemize your business.